Hi YouTube, my name's Nikki and we are going to be talking about vaping today. I am new to this whole YouTube thing, so bear with me, okay? We are going to be talking about sample box. And you know what, y'all? I'm going to do this different than what other people do. Because at this point, you know how the box looks when you open it. I've already opened the box. I'm impatient. So I'm not going to show you what the box looks like when I open it. So... We're just going to jump right into it. I am going to be vaping on one juice today, and it's already in my tank, and I'm going to be vaping on the Vupu Mojo. And the tank that I have on here is called the U-Force, and it's, I think it's the U-Force 3. And it's, it's pretty fabulous, y'all. My only complaint about this, this mod, and it's not even a mod, it's a drip tip. Man, this drip tip has had some words drip tip it likes to come off in my car and it likes to drip in my purse we don't need that negativity in our lives do we YouTube didn't think so anyway back into the sample box this is not they are not sponsoring me they are not paying me to make this video I just thought it'd be kind of fun because when you review a juice it asks you to put your link of your YouTube video of the reviewed juice in the bottom I was like oh I can make a YouTube video and post it on here like can people on sample box see it let's make a YouTube video Nikki we're a shy person but hell we can talk to a camera so, when you open up your sample box, there is going to be a cute little testing menu right here with some stickers right here and a card that tells you to rate your favorite three juices and post it on Instagram right here. But y'all, I don't have an Instagram, so we're just going to tell you what my top three favorite juices are right here. But usually this box has stuff in it. It'll be like that. I'm going to have a whole line of stuff in it. Or it could also have an adorable little box like that right into it. You never know what you're going to get, y'all. But we're going to go right into these flavors. I'm going to tell you my favorite to my least favorite. We're going to go in order on me today. We're not going to go in order on what was in the box. What is really cool about Zample Box is they sent you this card. Sometimes it'll be folded in half like this if you get the three pack, which was the first one I ever got. But you'll get it folded in half like this and you'll open it up and it'll tell you, you know, it's a tasting menu. It tells you what the juices are and how much they are and how big the bottles are and how much BG percentage there is. And it'll also tell you how much the box actually retails. Now y'all, I got the six package box this month and I spent... I spent, I want to say, I think it was $41, closer to $42, something like that, somewhere in there. But, I will say, my two favorite juices that I always buy, these two Coastal Club flavors right here, I buy them locally, and they're $20 a bottle. They're 60 millimeter bottles, y'all. It's $40 for just two of these. Now, yes, they are 60 millimeter bottles, but that's 40 bucks for only two. When I can be paying $40 for six. in the long run yeah it's like I kind of buy four bottles get two free kind of situation but hey I'll take it I vape a lot so it's cool um so like I said we are gonna go from my least favorite from my favorite to my least favorite I am gonna start off with telling you a little bit about these juices that I did just show though these did not come in my sample box just to make that clear 60 millimeter bottles do not come in sample box Sample box comes with 30 millimeter bottles. You can buy 60 millimeter bottles on samplebox.com, which I'd highly recommend because if you're a, a, a sample box member, I think is what it's called, then you get like 60 millimeter bottles for $9. And hell yeah, <laughs> I'll take that. But my favorite one of all time that I've ever vaped, I've been a vapor for three years, my favorite juice of all time has got to be this banana blueberry muffin by Coastal Cloud Sweets. And it's so yummy. And y'all don't even like banana. But that stuff is delicious. This stuff right here is also really good. It's a great summer vape. If you like a throat hit, if you are not into the throat hit, stay away from this. It is not a heavy, heavy throat hit, but it'll let you know that that guava is there. That guava punch is good, but it is there. And last but not least, my third favorite from just whatever. This came from my sample box last month and is the Kilo Sour Series. And it is Mango Tango. It's delicious. It's like a mango sour candy. 
Those three flavors did not come in my example box this month. The two tall ones I bought from a local vape shop and that small little mango tango did come in my box last month. Um, actually, you can see my stickers right there and right there that example box sent me. They sent me that on my first month. It's just this example box sticker. You can't really tell what that one is, but it's a hand holding a mod. Much like this, I believe. Oh, nope, got another sticker. Much like this, I believe, <laughs> is how the hand is going. But they send me stickers, which I love. I love stickers, so Zample Box, thanks for the stickers. So let's just jump right in. My favorite juice from this box is actually that cute little... Oh, no, that's not it. Y'all, I'm missing a flavor. There it is. <laughs> I got a little furred is actually this cute little this cute little bottle right here. It is the cold brew. It is made by Nitros. It's the cold brew shakes collection and it is salted caramel. Now on the tasting guide there is a tasting guide. You know it shows you what all the flavors are. And on the tasting guide it says salted caramel with graham cracker milkshake. Yo excuse me. Y'all, this is delicious. This, not this, this is delicious. Don't eat paper, it's not good for you. But this is so good. It, it definitely does taste like salted caramel. Now, the one thing I will say that Zample Box did flaw on a little bit on this, this, this flavor. I probably would have shot this crap in my mouth if I knew this. But this salted caramel right here, see how it says salted caramel with graham cracker milkshake. It says nothing about menthol. When you go on ZampleBox.com and look up the, the juice, it's got menthol in it. And there is not so nice comments on ZampleBox about this juice. And it's probably because the people aren't expecting it to have menthol in it. Now granted, I love menthol. Smoke cigarettes. It was a menthol cigarette. So we're good on that end. But if I was a non-menthol smoker, that would have probably ticked me off a little bit. Only because when you're expecting a nice yummy salted caramel milkshake, you're not expecting a menthol. Now that is what is in my in my in my mod right now, the salted caramel milkshake, because it's the bomb diggity. It is 70 VG, 30 PG. Um, I do like my juices to have max VG, but if it doesn't, it's okay. That's cool with me too. I don't care. Now all of my juices do have 3% nicotine in them. Um, I do, I am trying to quit smoking. It is slowly working, but Zample Box has actually helped me a lot on the quit smoking because you have given me more flavor profiles to go with. Um, so that's my first juice. That is my favorite out of this box so far is the Salted Caramel Cold Brew Shakes. Um, my next favorite, let's see, I think it's, it would be this one. This cute little box that you guys saw. The Milkman, it is called Moonies, um, for your milky clouds is what it says on the front, it's kind of cute, but it, I love this box. I mean, packaging with this company, with the Milkman company, I mean, ugh, their packaging is always spot on, I'm sorry, but I mean, it's a freaking milk carton, y'all, I mean, it's adorable, and it even has a crossword on the back. <laughs> Find all 15 words in this word search. Huh. We might have to do that after the video, you guys, because it's got a word search on the back, and I like word searches. But what's really cool is on the side of the box, it'll tell you what it's called. So I already took it out of the box, obviously. I told you I'm not going to spend all this time unboxing crap when I've already unboxed it. It's called the Moonies. It comes in this adorable little drip kind of uh, bottle, which I do appreciate because on this kind of mod, you do have a push. Well, if it wants to work for me today. You do have a push opening. And you do have to fill it in that tiny little hole. And sometimes the bottles are kind of awkward with their little drip tube. Fill in that little hole because it's a pain in my butt. But it does come with this little, you know, little syringy looking tube kind of deal. Um, I do like to look at the colors of my juice before I put them in my mod. Because I do know the darker they are, the more sugar they have. Um, and this is kind of sugary. It is, it is very dark. Definitely a dark yellowy color but it is it, it's good but to the flavor profile of what it actually is it is a moon pie <laughs> basically um if you look on the side of the box that is a picture of a moon pie <laughs> now obviously it's not called a moon pie because i think there's like some legal things on stuff that they can't do with that 
but on the flavor card, sorry, y'all can't read down like that. It says vanilla cake with chocolate and marshmallows, which, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't think I was going to like this. I, I figured this was probably going to be really gross. I'm not a huge marshmallow fan. No, it's not, not good stuff. But that made my top two or my top three rather. I do have a top three for the sample box. I am going to go in order for my least favorite, but the first three that I'm going to show you are my top three just for the sake of the whole can't do Instagram crap. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my second favorite. It is delicious. It is, ironically, it tastes like a moon pie. I hate moon pies when I was a kid, but evidently the vape version of it is delicious. So that's that one. Um, it gets a little hard for me to decide at this point. Um, I can't really decide between two on my third favorite because they are equally very yummy to me. Um, they have none of the same flavor profile whatsoever, y'all, but they're good. Ironically, the juices I showed you in the beginning that I didn't buy from the sample box per se, per se, per se, per se one of them was this Kilo Sours. Sent me another one. <laughs> I got really agitated for a minute because I wasn't comparing the bottles side by side when I obviously when I opened the box because I didn't know they were going to send me another. But when I opened the box, I saw this Kilo Sours label. I got so agitated. It's my second box and you're already sending me double liquids. Y'all, that was not the case. Read your bottles before you freak out on sample box. They usually know what the hell they're doing. Obviously, you probably saw the, the difference in the bottles when I put them up. But you see that little blue label? Can't really see what it says, but it says ice. This is regular mango tango sours. This is the menthol mango tango sours. Yummy. And even on the uh, on the thing here, it says mango tango sours ice. An icy mango sour. It is exactly what it says it is. It is so good. This has become not my favorite three lineup everyday vapes anymore. This has kicked its spot because it does have that ice feel to it. Now, what I did find really, really cool is, um, I like I said a minute ago, I do look at the colors of my bottles, see how much sugar uh, is in these bottles, mainly because the sugar gives me a migraine. But you see how it's a yellowy color compared to this. Actually, yeah, compared to this. <laughs> Am I the only one that has issues opening these dick bottles? Compared to this dark brown color. Yeah, this has got a lot of sugar in it. I can only smoke maybe... My mod has a minimum line, and I only smoke up to the minimum line with this stuff, because if I smoke it too long, it gives me a migraine, but it's so yummy. But anyway, this stuff is the Bob Diggity. It is very, very yummy, very icy, nice chill for this wonderful weather. hate this weather. It's nice and warm, but it's too hot. Anyway, but yeah, I, I think that would... I think we're going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll put that one in my third favorite. We're going to say the Kilo Sours, the Icy Kilo Sours. Yeah, Icy, icy Mango Tango Kilo Sours. It's a lot of damn words, sample box. Shorten your names. But my next, I think we're just going to say that number three is just a runner-up. We're just going to have two top threes. Can't have a top four. That just sounds weird. But we're going to have two top threes. Doesn't sound weird, right? But it's out of Coastal Clouds. I told you guys I love Coastal Clouds. Uh, they're my company. They do a really good job. I have not had a vape from them that I have not liked. Every single one of their vapes are absolutely amazing. This is their lemon meringue pie. And when you look at the thing, it just says lemon meringue pie. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you like lemon meringue pie, you are going to die for this. It has a very buttery, crispy taste to it, kind of like the crust, but the exhale is this yummy, sweet lemon cream taste, like a, it tastes like a meringue. I mean, if you don't know what a meringue is, you need to try it because it's delicious, but this is some good stuff, y'all. I mean, even the smell, you know, when you get that lemon vape and the smell smells very artificial and like a lot of the Fruit Loop vapes, y'all. I love cereal vapes, but the Fruit Loop ones are disgusting. Every single one I've ever had always tastes like Lemon Pledge. It's very lemony. Oof. I'm sorry, but Fruit Loops has a lot more taste than lemon. 
I am just getting off a cold, so I feel like I just inhaled nothing. <sighs> Y'all, I can't, I can't inhale shit, so we're just gonna let it. I haven't vaped it. I have not vaped it. My husband has though. Loves it. He is in love with it. Oh, it's good. It's just good. Alright, y'all. That's that's four out of six. We got two more. To be honest with you, I'm not too crazy about these last two. Not even a little bit. They're not. Not my favorite. This one is Gorilla Custard. Now, if you like banana vapes, which I know a lot of YouTubers that like banana vapes just from watching everybody's YouTube videos on the sample box. Um, a lot of people like banana vapes. I'm not a fan. Um, I do like my banana blueberry muffin from Coastal Cloud, but that is not an overwhelming banana taste. It tastes more like a fresh baked muffin with some blueberry and a hint of banana, which is cool. I like eating bananas, but... I don't like artificial banana. Um, this one is a definitely a very artificially banana taste and smell. Um, honestly, every time I smell it and taste it, I think of banana Laffy Taffy, which you all know out of all the Laffy Taffies, usually that yellow Laffy Taffy got pushed to the side while you ate all the strawberry Laffy Taffies. Um, and yeah, this, this is a good vape to mix things with. Um, I would definitely probably mix it in with something different. Maybe if I had a blueberry menthol vape, I'd probably mix it in and it might taste a little decent, but not my, not my fave. All right. Um, and last but not least, you guys, is this heavy custard. Uh, I was going to get excited about this because of the flavor profile on the on the tasting menu, but then I looked at the bottle and I'm like, I feel like you put no thought into your label, so I feel like you're not going to put a lot of thought into your juice. Um, I mean, as y'all can see, all the labels that I've gotten have this adorable little way of showing what exactly it is, and the Kilo Sours is probably the most demeaning little label, to be honest with you, because it's so white you can't see it, but... All the labels look like they just have some thought into it and I mean even the Moonies. The Moonies is very simple and plain here but one it is a glass bottle compared to all these plastic bottles and two the the description on the back is very bold to where you can read it and y'all I wear bifocal so I can't see crap and then the I mean it's even got the price on the side of the bottle on how much it was which is insane to me because I didn't know that but the warning label is easily seen it even has the car the California Provisition 65 warning on it, which I don't know what that is. Let's read that really quick. This product contains and or produces chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. Oh, that's just like any other warning label. It just, I guess that's California special one. <sighs> I'm sorry, we totally got sidetracked off of what I was talking about, but it contains no milk. How funny is that? For your milky clouds contains no milk. <laughs> but as you can tell they a lot of companies put a lot of thought into their bottles and their products and I, in my opinion that feels like you put a lot of thought in your juice if you put a lot of thought in your product in the way it looks your product's got to be good because I mean product labeling is kind of expensive but this one's called heavy custard it is a strawberry banana taste you can't really see the banana because it's really yellow label but it's got a little picture of a banana on it but it is really small print 70 vg 30 pg and three percent nicotine as always um this one is a strawberry banana it's a strawberry banana custard i believe that's what the yep it's actually right there at the bottom strawberry banana it's a strawberry banana custard made by heavy custard and they are outside of los angeles california um okay so fun little thing i'm gonna keep making these videos in the long run at one point or another but just a little heads up i'm allergic to strawberries very little strawberries. Strawberry juice touches my arm. I break out. Get hives. It's gross. I eat a strawberry. My throat swells up. It's kind of bad. It looks kind of gross. It makes me look like some kind of nice mutant monster out of a movie. But I can actually enjoy a strawberry vape. Strawberry artificial flavors. I do not eat strawberry candy because it still kind of freaks me out because you know I'll say 100% real fruit and then on the back it'll say artificial blah 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 blah. So I never know how to actually trust the food products. But because this is an FDA kind of product, I know what's in it. 
I know what it's made with. I know that it is made with artificial strawberry and not any real strawberry. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so old as random one. But these little tabs are so annoying. So I'm just going to take that off. But um, what I do with my vapes, if you guys do have any allergies like I do. Um, if I, I did read one day that a girl had a kiwi allergy. And she got a kiwi vape. And the way that she tried her vape is she lined some liquid on her arm and I don't know if y'all can tell but I already lined some on my arm a little while ago because I like to keep it on there for a couple hours before I put it in my mouth because I mean who wants to hear me talk like this because my tongue will be really big <laughs> but I did try it on my arm a couple hours ago so I guess that means we're okay to taste test it I mean if I have an allergic reaction you guys it's not Zample's box it's not Zample box's fault it's my fault for being stubborn but damn it I like strawberries Call 911 if you've seen strep or swell. <sighs> uh, nope, 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 nope. I got strawberry when I tasted it the first time and I was really excited. And then I got banana. And the banana tastes just like that one. That artificial Laffy Taffy banana flavor. But, and God, my throat hurts. Ugh. And not like allergic reaction throat hurt, y'all. It's more like a, that's a really intense banana. And it's gross. So yeah, these two, definitely not a fan. Anything with that, I just need to go on my, my sample box profile and kick banana out of the running. Because that's not yummy. That was gross. But yeah. Y'all, those are my juices. Those are the juices I got in this month. I will definitely be trying to make a video every month, every time I get a sample box. Um, but, yeah, if you guys like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I am going to try making more videos on certain things. We're not going to get into it now because this is a sample box video, y'all. Sample box, you guys did fantastic as always. I love my product. I love my little personalized letter at the top. I, I love how much thought and effort you guys put into your packaging, into the way that you send out your product, how quickly you guys send out your product means the world to me. Um, but without further ado, that's really the, all of my video, you guys. I'm so happy you decided to watch my video. I'm sorry if it was long and I ramble and I sound like a Jack Wang, but he stayed the whole video, so hey, it must have done something right. Uh, if, if y'all want me to try out anything, any kind of juices, any kind of mods, just put a comment down below and let me know. Um, I also will be making other review videos for just about anything. So if y'all want me to review something, let me know. I'd love to try. Be a fun little experience. But with that all said, I am so happy you guys watched my video. I hope you guys have fun vaping. Please try Zample Box. They do fantabulous. I will put a link below to their website and you can create your own little box. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.